The quest to get tin in Core Keeper is immense. It's one of the rarest resources, or well, that's the way it seems at the moment with so many people complaining that's really hard to get a big amounts of it. I've already told you guys that you can get tin in clay biomes, and it's usually a bit of a pinker ground that you'll find, and obviously close to water. But I have found and discovered that I've got more chances of getting tin when I start exploring the outer ring. This is where Gorm, the worm, pretty much does his circuit, and you might not be at that stage yet, but hopefully if you defeated the slime boss you can craft a special item that keeps track of where the worm is this makes life a bit easier in exploring the big circle which i'm going to show you guys but also i'm going to show you some hot spots that i found particularly a ruined kind of town and obviously the larvae biome is usually pretty close to clay deposits as well so leave a like make sure you subscribe for the best in survival games content core keeper and grounded at the moment and let's go so yeah, this isn't an easy, cheesy method of getting tin. Obviously, once you get a drill, you can go ahead and break the big deposits and you'll get a whole bunch of decent ores from that. Otherwise, you need to head to this circle and this just makes life a bit easier. Once you're here, you'll be able to spot clay biomes a lot quicker and easier. You might come across some of them abandoned towns. Obviously, it is dangerous. You might run into some cavelin goblins and you will come across a bunch of the larvae biomes. But the larvae biomes also do have a chance of getting tin. Well, that's what I've found anyway, especially as there's sometimes boxes in these areas too. So it's worth exploring. You obviously are going to need some pretty decent armor though. So making sure you've got at least copper armor on and you've got some decent health potions or foods. Trouble is, you need a lot of tin to make some of the benches, like the out table for your potions to give you better health. You need a ton of tin if you're going to start building your own rail networks, and obviously all the kind of cosmetic items, so brushes and decorative pieces, they also need usually a amount of tin to make the benches. Once you get the tin anvil, you can go ahead and then start crafting a tin pickaxe, and that's going to help you a lot get iron, but you still need a bunch of that tin. So, go and explore the big circle. If you're super, super lucky, you'll come across one of these abandoned towns. And this is where I found the biggest amount of tin. We went from having something like maybe only 22, 25 to over 60 tin in just a matter of five minutes going around splunking and digging out every little piece. Now, these towns don't necessarily spawn in clay areas or maybe in the larvae zones, but it did seem like there's more chance of them spawning outside the circle. You may also be a bit disheartened if you've gone directly in one direction and come across a whole bunch of stone biomes, which is no good to you if it's obviously hard to get that ore because you haven't got any tin tools. So yeah, use the circle, do a complete loop, open up the map massively, and then really see and what kind of biomes you've got. In my game at the moment, a lot of the stone biomes are up north, and then down south I've got a lot of the larvae and clay deposit areas. Now Gorm can be pretty dangerous, but as long as you move out of the way, you should be okay, as long as you're not directly in his line. And like I said, as long as you've got the tracker which you got from the slime boss uh, core, then you should be able to keep track of him and you shouldn't have too many problems. And obviously the ground shakes as well when he's coming, so there's no excuse to really get run over. Eventually, or if you're lucky enough, you might have found a drop that gives you a bit of a speed boost. You can get the feather, or you can craft your own little ring once you get a iron accessories bench that you can make, which you are going to need iron and more tin. These will help you move around that circle a bit quicker, but that's my best advice. Like I said, it's not easy, it's not some cheesy method, but it's probably going to be one of your best bets to go and get a big amount of tin. Not forgetting that you get more chance of getting ores as well from breaking open chests and more accessories that can help you move around faster. You can craft wraps that normally give you a bit of a speed boost if you get the right ingredients as well. So anything like that will help. You do go slow when you're going over the slime, but again, as long as you're not running into any caveling sort of goblins, you should be okay. Slimes are pretty much easy to handle. But yeah, in maybe my 12 hours or so of playing the game so far, definitely I found the most tin when I went outside the circle. Also, don't waste any tin on certain things. You might want to give up on actual customizing your base just for a little while until you get enough resources to craft the tin anvil. Then I would focus on the alchemy table because that will give you more potions. That means you can hopefully last a bit longer exploring the world. And they're fairly easy to make once you've built the station. You only need slime and lots of either meat or some of the berries and vegetables. I wouldn't waste any tin on building railways. You'll find plenty of spots where you can hopefully gather up enough rail carts to get you some bit of a shortcut. So I would leave that one as well. And obviously you're gonna need a bunch of tin as well just to make the iron workbench too. 
So you may be playing it a bit more chilled and you definitely want to craft and create and make your base look a bit pretty, but I would say leave them alone. When it comes to armor and weapons, I would absolutely maybe get the bronze armor sets. They definitely will help you a lot. And I would try and focus on the slime sword rather than making a tin sword. I think the slime sword will just about do you a good job and you want to focus on making lots of tin pickaxes. And for sure, make sure you craft a wooden shield. Putting this in the offhand slot can really help you out, especially when you're getting absolutely done over by a whole bunch of larvae. Something I've only just started messing with is the tin dagger, and it's a really cool item, so I would recommend getting that. And the slingshot can really help out at range as well. So there the main focus is, get the tin anvil up, get the alchemy table, craft either a tin knife, but I would say focus on the slime sword. Get the slingshot and then look out for maybe the floor traps with spikes. I thought these were pretty useless, but there is a method to take on Gorm, the big worm that moves around, by laying a whole bunch of these out in front of him. But that does require a lot of tin. You can also find the natural traps that you find in the larvae biomes. They do a lot of damage to you as well though, but if you can gather them up, that might be another alternative rather than wasting all your tin. Just make sure you've marked out clearly a section where you're going to be doing it and plan ahead. You can try taking Gorm out also with bombs and stuff. And although this isn't turning into a tutorial for that yet, I still just want to give you these few tips of what to expect as you explore in this tunnel. If you find two matching sets of larvae, ring and necklace, it also boost over the slimes without it actually affecting your speed. So that can be another useful thing for exploring in this area. Even when you've gonna made the iron workbench, you still need a bunch of tin to craft certain stations. Like the smelter kiln, you need at least five. So if you're low on numbers, make sure you've got enough to craft that, even when you've gone ahead and crafted your iron workbench. So don't worry, it's not just you. Loads of people are saying they need to find more tin. It's clearly part of the game, progression to help you explore a little bit more. Maybe they'll boost it in the future. Maybe they'll get an algorithm where we'll have more of the clay biome spawning. Or maybe it's just down to a bit of bad luck with a lot of people. But across Discord and other social media, I've been reading up a lot. And that is the one big thing that everyone is trying to search the most is tin. Anyway, I hope that's been a bit helpful. Go and check out the rest of my guides and I'll be back with more Core Keeper content very soon. Bye-bye.